Hey, how's it going guys? JT Judgment here and welcome to another Team of the Season player review. Today, as you can see on the screen right now, we're going to be taking a look at the 85 rated Team of the Season, Deiro Moreno. Now, this guy I was not looking to be reviewing anytime soon because there were so many other players, you know, uh, being released right now with the International Man of the Matches and other Team of the Seasons that I thought I'd be reviewing first. But I put a 50k minimum bid on the transfer market just to see what sort of players I could find and what sort of players I came across. I came across this guy, saw his stats, and then I pressed the right stick to see that he had five star skills, so I bought him instantly, threw him into a team, and I thought I'd make a player review on him while I had him, uh, just in case you guys are interested in knowing whether or not I think he's worth it, basically. So like I said, five star skills is one of the most important things and, and one of the most special things about him. You skillers out there will absolutely love using this guy, because not only has he got five star skills but he's got absolutely amazing ball control 89 dribbling on the card i've got to agree with that stat and he feels like what 89 dribbling should be like now pace with this guy 89 pace as well he feels like 89 pace you give this boy space and he is gone basically the boy is very very quick and it's it's very awesome to find a player with five star skills amazing dribbling and ball control and is very fast as well but not only that it doesn't stop there guys this guy's shot is absolutely fantastic now even though he's got 90 shooting on the card it doesn't exactly feel like 90 shooting in my opinion because his long shots are terrible i couldn't i scored one but it was lucky because it deflected and it went in that's the reason it went in if it didn't deflect off the defender then it, it wouldn't have gone in uh but other than that his shooting from outside the box is pretty much terrible so in my opinion if you're gonna buy this guy for your team then the best way to use him is use skills to get round the defense and get through the defense get into the box and then tap it into the goal that's the best way to use this guy this is not the sort of player that i would recommend if you're someone like me who loves taking long shots on a regular basis because he kind of failed for me and you know me i include long shots in pretty much every player review or squad builder i do and there's hardly any um if any actually long shots that will be that will be included in this video so long range shooting with this guy is definitely definitely a downside some of his other pluses i mean he's very good on his weak foot like i said five star skills four star weak foot he feels like a player that has four star weak foot he scored a couple of uh, uh opportunities with his weak foot that will be included in this video so i gotta say that i agree with that rating of four stars and he performs like a player that has four star weak foot guys he's surprisingly good in the air now his head and stat is somewhere in the mid 70s but it honestly felt like a player that had his head in stat in the mid 80s he got he made contact with the ball all the time when he when it was in the air his aerial ability is absolutely fantastic so you know i gotta disagree with the head in stat and say he feels a hell of a lot better guys now one of his other biggest surprises that i found is that the boy is actually very very strong you will see from a couple of the goals that i scored in this video he was holding off defenders with ease there was a goal that i scored dante could not muscle him off the ball and we all know how overpowered and how strong dante is in this game uh, there was another clip where the blue team of the season felipe luis could not muscle him off the ball and the guy was raping the b button from nearly the halfway line to the edge of the box so i gotta say this this guy is so much stronger than what his in-game stats say i think his strength is about 84 85 but his aggression is somewhere in the 60s so you know if you're worried that this guy, this boy is going to be extremely weak for you do not worry about it because if he's as strong uh, as this for me then it's hard to believe that he's going to be you know weak for anyone else that's pretty much all the pluses that I got with him, guys. Some of his other minuses that I found, his positioning isn't the greatest. I mean, I used him as a right striker in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation, but I found him out of position a lot. You know, I was passing around the team, and I'd find him over in the right midfield position. I'd find him over in the left midfield position. He would switch places with my left striker. He was literally all over the place, and it did get very, very frustrating at times. He's a player that never makes runs. Now, what I mean by that is, you know he's on the pitch you, you're passing around the team and you, you can see that he can make an amazing run but he just stands there waiting for the ball to be passed to him now that's extremely frustrating because if you're in the position to make you know an epic lby or an l1 triangle through ball 
then this guy, he will not make the run for you, or at least he didn't for me. So the only way he would make a run is if I would find him, pass the ball to him, then do an LBA or an L1X pass to another player that will make him run on, and then he would run for me. So he's not a player that would run on his own. Making runs with this guy you would have to do manually, basically, is the point that I'm trying to get across. His passing really isn't the greatest. He did make one or two assists for me, but other than that, his passing was pretty damn dreadful. That's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. I mean, on the screen right now, you can see his strengths on the left-hand side. Very good pace, very good dribbling and ball control. He's very reliable on his weak foot, surprisingly good in the air. His short-range shooting is fantastic, and he has got very, very good strength. His weaknesses, poor positioning. He never makes runs. His passing isn't the greatest, and he's not the best at taking long shots. Is he worth it? I've got to say yes. I think as of recording uh, the footage for this video, the boy is going for around the seventy-five to 80,000 coin mark. For that sort of coins, you're getting an absolutely fantastic player. I had a lot of fun using him. I've given him a 9.2 out of 10. I had a lot of fun using him, guys. And if you like using skills, then this guy is going to be a dream for you. I mean, if you fit this boy into uh, a Colombian team surrounded by Ibarbo, uh, James Rodriguez, Falcao, team of the season, uh, Cuadrado, this guy is going to be a hell of an addition for your team. And like I said, if you like using skills and you know what you're doing with these skills, then this boy is going to be an absolutely beastly addition to your team and that's going to wrap up this video guys i really do hope you enjoyed if you did and all as always if this did help you decide whether or not to buy him leave a like on this video it really really does help me out and also subscribe today for more player reviews to come in the future and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys